22. My name is Cambry. Happy birthday to Evelyn and Mrs. Cole's room, Madeline and Mrs. Brenneman's Brenham class, and Allison and Mrs. Sanders' room. On Saturday, happy birthday to Riley and Mrs. Higgins' class. Stay tuned for the last core announcement about hope. Hope is believing that something good can come out of something bad. At Bearsville, we believe that each of you, no matter your background or experiences, can use your education to work for good, for you and for the whole community. As we end April, we will be moving to a new big idea. But just because the month is over, doesn't mean hope is gone. Before today ends, find someone and share your own story of hope a time when something bad turned into something good as we move into the month of May. Hey, good morning, Bearsville. It's Fun Friday, and we have one of our reading specialists here, and we're trying to see if you can figure out who it is. So um, we have three reading specialists here at Bearsville. We have Dr. Strasbaugh, we have Mrs. McBride, and Mrs. Landsman. So I'm sort of narrowing it down for you, so that way you can sort of figure out which one it may be. And believe it or not, we already had two of them go. So yet by process of elimination here, uh, who is left? So uh, let's just uh, go through here and look at these pictures. So just a few cl clues about this person. Uh, this person uh, has a twin brother. Um, and that's why you'll notice a lot of the pictures. Uh, she is with her twin brother, whose name is Jeff. Um, this person, she lived in Baltimore, Maryland, and then went to a Catholic school. And you can see there the picture in the middle right here uh, is her first day of first grade. And you can see they wore uniforms. Um, also, this person was a cheerleader in high school at Southwestern, moved to Hanover later on then. Um, also about this person, when she was in fifth grade, here's a, her fifth grade picture. She wanted to be a lawyer. Um, and she would wear suits to school because she thought it was important to dress um, dress up. And so just a few pictures over here. The picture when her and her brother Jeff were two years old. Here's a picture of her and her dad and her brother Jeff. And then there they are in the car seats. So a lot of different things going on. Oh, this one in the middle here when she was in eighth grade. So some good pictures also about this person. She loved roller skating and camping when she was younger. And I still think she goes camping. I don't know about roller skating, though. So who is it? It's a tough one. I gave you the three choices. Why don't you go ahead and make one of those choices right now? Lock it in. And our answer is... Mrs. McBride. Yes. And here's Mrs. McBride with her husband. And another picture in the middle here with her husband. And then Mrs. McBride uh, with her dog, Ralph. Uh, she's holding Ralph. And then her daughter, Mackenzie, who went through Bearsville. She's in the middle here. And then her son, Jack, who also went through Bearsville. And Mackenzie's getting ready to graduate from college. And Jack is in college. So, yeah. And then this is Mackenzie's boyfriend over on the side. So when you see Mrs. McBride today, let her know that you are really glad that she's here at Bearsville and we appreciate all the work that Mrs. McBride does. Have a wonderful, fun Friday and thanks a lot. Let's end today's announcements by remembering the star expectations. Today and every day, strive to do your best. Take responsibility for your actions. Always be safe. Respect people and property. Have a great day, Bearsville. Now please stand for the playing of the National Anthem followed by the Pledge of Allegiance.